what's up YouTube fam, Brandon Weaver here once again. I've got some great questions. What do you do when you get your good credit? Where do you go to apply for stuff? How do you look at your FICO? What's the difference between that and the credit karma? Oh my goodness, do you freeze all the smaller bureaus? Let's get right into it, okay? So, had a quick question, this came in, all right? Had a quick question. Should I put a freeze on all the smaller bureaus? I always, I'm always applying for something new and was wondering if it would be okay, would I have any issues? Now, first and foremost, you probably won't have any issues with the smaller bureaus. The big bureaus are where you want to go, right? And if you got to freeze and unfreeze to apply for something. But if you're going through the credit repair process, you may not want to always be applying for something new. Okay, that can be a problem. You want to make sure that you keep your credit nice and clean while you're going through the credit repair process and then you can go get your bigger, better credit cards, your better interest rates, okay? So you can get your house and your car after you get the credit repaired, right? All right, now, the other question this individual has, they've been the victim of identity theft. They have a bunch of inquiries that are not theirs. I always say go to the FTC website, fill out their identity theft affidavit, right? You guys are ahead of me because you've seen the videos. And if you haven't seen the videos, hit the subscribe button, the bell for notifications so these videos come out so you know what to do. If something like this happens to you or a family member or a friend, you can square away your credit. You can do it yourself, 609creditrepair.com, or we can do the work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com, all right? But back to the ID theft. If you are the victim of ID theft, you go through the FTC website. They have an affidavit you can print out, you can fill out, you can get a police report. You can let them know, the bureaus that is, you can let the bureaus know that these inquiries are not yours. They're from identity theft. They can do an investigation and immediately have to remove it. If they get a fraud, there's something about, right, fraud, this is fraudulent. If they have anything to do with fraud, they have to remove it immediately, okay? That police report, that affidavit is going to be your weapon to get this nasty negative stuff off that is 100% not yours and is, well, were, were the victim of ID theft. Not anymore, okay? So this is great. Now, right, you're saying I got my, I got my credit cleaned up, my inquiries are looking good, but I got a question. Why is my credit score on Credit Karma is different from a bank credit score? Okay, check this out. The bank, and this is why Credit Karma isn't really the best barometer because the banks are looking at different FICO scorings, all right? Different FICO scorings. The mortgage could be as old as the FICO 2, all right? FICO 2s, right? I've seen FICO 5s out there. FICO 9s. Auto FICOs, I'm gonna give you specific stories here in a minute, okay? Bank card FICOs for the credit card, I see it. I watch my FICOs, I'm like, I got all these FICO scores. What's the real one? Well, the bank is going to mitigate their risk, okay? So you pull from Card Karma, they don't see any risk, you're not really, you know, applying for nothing, they just say, yeah, there's a barometer of your vantage score, okay? But let's say you go into the credit union, which we have before, and you know, you've seen my buddy here with the car, gets the car loan. It's going to be based off that person's FICO auto score from wherever they're pulling it from, in that case, the credit union was Experian, for whatever reason that that bank deems necessary to use that credit score. So they're like, okay, we like the model eight, we like the model nine, we like the model seven, we like whatever FICO model they like, they pull that up, they're comfortable with that auto score, they're saying that mitigates our risk. That was higher, that credit score was higher, yes, higher than the regular FICO. The auto FICO was higher and got better terms for this individual than their regular FICO, which might have been utilized for a credit card. They might seem and deem auto having a different risk because it's an installment loan, it's a car, we can go grab that car as equity and sell it if we need to, if there's some money to be gotten out of it, rather than an unsecured, bank card with no collateral. That credit card you charge up, well, what are we gonna do now? But we can go get that car. So we have less risk, we actually own the vehicle, we're buying it, you're leasing money from us, we can go. Not only that, the credit union takes into account other things that a big bank may not, okay? Credit unions do and have taken into account the relationship you have with them already, what you may or may not have as far as payment already going on, your mortgage, your whatever, your credit cards with them. They take into more account. So look into your credit unions, look into your local banks and see what's what. So the risk factor is different from when you're actually pulling it and you're actually looking at the FICOs and what they're utilizing rather than just getting a barometer with the credit karmas. Lastly, I got a great question. How long do closed positive accounts, how long are they allowed to stay on your report? 
that is forever. They are there to help you and yours, but if you got negative, nasty, unverified items, you can dispute them. 609creditrepair.com. Get that Beyond Committed package, everything that you need to repair your credit, or we can do it for you at theawesomelifegroup.com. Hey, don't hesitate to reach out to me either. Email me if you need any support. Comment below, let me know when you hit the subscribe button, hit subscribe tribe down below, let me know what is going on and how your credit repair is coming along, getting those boosts to your score. If this video helped you out, please give a thumbs up. And until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.